want to talk about how you compute the future value of a lump sum deposit. Now by a lump sum I mean you make one deposit and then you don't add any more money into your account. So we're interested in after you deposit the money how much is it worth one year from now, two years, ten years, twenty-five years from now. And so the best way to look at this is let's look at an example. So let's consider the case where you deposit $100. And let's say the interest rate is 6%. Now remember in a previous tutorial I talked about simple versus compound interest. In the case of simple interest you only receive interest on the principal, so on the original hundred. So in this case, if it were simple interest, you'd only receive six dollars in interest each year. It would never go up. In the case of compound interest, you get interest on the original amount you deposited, the principal. You also get interest on any interest that you previously received. And in that previous example we did, or previous tutorial we did, we found that after one year you have hundred and six dollars in your account. So that when you get six percent interest of that, you're not only getting six percent of the hundred dollars, you're getting six percent of the extra six dollars, the interest you already received, so you get thirty-six cents in extra interest. And while that doesn't seem like much, as you compound over a number of periods, it becomes a lot of money and it can grow rather rapidly. So the best way to understand this is to look at this by using this example. So let's let's look at the future value in year one. And the future value in year one is going to be the original amount of the deposit plus you're going to get six percent of a hundred dollars. That's your interest. And we know that equals 106 but if you look at this equation, there's a hundred in both terms here. We can factor that out. So we have a hundred times one plus point oh six. Okay, equals a hundred and six. Now, this is this is our formula for the future value in year one. Let's see what happens in year two. In year two we're going to have what? It's as if we started with hundred and six dollars in our account so we have one hundred times one plus point oh six plus what? Plus we're going to plus we're going to get 0.06 times put a bracket around that times 100 times 1 plus 0.06 alright so let's see what we can do here we can factor this term out okay we have both terms have these two things in it. So let's see what we get here. I get 100 times 1 plus 0.06, okay, both terms have that, times 1, because that's all is that's here, plus 0.06, okay, this part. So if you if you multiply this out, you'll see that Hopefully I did this correctly. 100 times 1 plus 0 0.06 times 1 gives me this term. And then 100 plus 1.06 times this gives me this term. Let's combine these terms. We get 100 times 1 plus 0 0.06 squared. So it looks like there's going to be a pattern and in fact there is and there's no reason for me to derive each each year but it, it turns out that the future value in year three is going to be equal to 100 times 1 plus 0.06 
cubed. So if we want to generalize this, remember that this 100, it doesn't matter what the original amount of the deposit is. If it's 6%, it's always going to be multiplied by this term if we want to find the future value in year 3. And in fact, we don't have to use 6%. We could use any interest rate. So the general formula here is that the future value in time period n is going to equal the present value, that's our lump sum deposit, times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the nth power. So this is an important formula. We're going to use this a lot throughout the course. And in fact, most of our calculations are going to come back to this or the present value formula, which is related to this. And I'll do the next tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. But this is an important formula. It's quite easy to use. Let's, uh, let's, um, let's calculate this. Okay, as long as we're here, as long as we have some numbers, let's do the calculation. How do we do this? 1.06, and if we hit the y to the x key, that allows us to raise it to a power. We raise it to the third power times 100. And so the future value of $100 deposited today in three years will be $119.10. So you can do this for any time period. Let's do, let's do a couple more. Let's find it for um, n equals 20. So if it's 20 years into the future, we get 100 times 1.06 to the 20th power. So again, we can use our calculator here, 1.06 raised, and you hit the y to the x key to raise it to a power, the 20th power, and then times the 100, and so we get $320.71. And you should do a few of these just to get the feel for how these are done. We can also use the financial calculator to do this, but um, and I'll have a tutorial that will show you how to do that, and most of the time we will use it. But you should do a couple by hand just to understand how the calculation is done. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do present value.